We're Eamon and Beck, and we're currently traveling around Europe in our self-converted Sprinter van. To begin today's episode, we want you to close your eyes and picture Spain. Maybe you've pictured yourself drinking sangria on a beautiful beach. Or perhaps you're eating paella before a football match. But we bet you didn't picture this, because we certainly didn't. Which is why we're so excited we got off the beaten track this week to uncover Spain's best kept secret. Hold up, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Hello guys and welcome to Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Or as the locals say. Zaragoza. Zaragoza. <laughs> we actually came in last night and slept just outside of the city and got up early for a little workout. We kind, of thought, we kind of thought that this city might be just like a workout and stock up kind of city, but it looks very beautiful. It's a beautiful day out, so we thought we'd do some exploring. Oh, and in case you're wondering, we're parking basically in the city center at this free gravel park spot. Zaragoza is actually Spain's fifth largest city after Madrid, Barcelona, Seville, Valencia. Uh, what's that? Oh my gosh, not even like two minutes into our walk. I think we found... Turns out this is some kind of palace. <laughs> Welcome to Al Jafalia Palace. It is a medieval, medieval. 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 It's a medieval. Medieval. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that word? It's a medieval Islamic fortified palace that was built in the later half of the 11th century. I'm not exactly sure, but I think some form of parliament goes on inside here today. So... Anyway, that's all we're giving you. Vamos? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> For YouTube. Adios. Adios. <laughs> It's about mid-afternoon and we haven't really eaten anything, so Beck looked up a quick little spot to grab some lunch. Plus, would it be like a city tour with Eamon and Beck if we didn't stop for food? Uh, I don't think so. Is the point of the day, or? Si, uh, possible. Con patatas fritas y ensalada. Y de cuchara tenemos olla gitana. Todos vegana? Todos. Oh, perfecto. Y luego tenéis bocadillos y racen. Okay, gracias. Do our faces show how confused we are? 20%. The server just came back. She speaks fluent English. <laughs> okay. If you caught our last vlog, you realized we just learned the word cochara. So we had cochara del dia, which is like the spoon dish of the day, and then the regular meal of the day. So this one's more of like a soup. It looks really nice with chickpeas and such. And then Eamon's got some meatballs on his plate. Yeah. So the food here is nothing fancy, but it's delicious. It kind of feels like being at grandma, grandma's house. Abuela. My grandma hasn't cooked me a meal in a long time, but <laughs> it's what I imagine her food tastes like. Sheila, we didn't like any of the food. Oh, I'm so sorry, Thank you so much. Just an eight minute walk from our delicious lunch spot, we've arrived to, I'd say the top site of Zaragoza. Although it doesn't look like it. What? How does it not look like it? No, in the sense of the people. Oh. <sighs> you think a top site in a Spanish city would be crawling. Yes. 
so but true. this town's actually not that busy. As we came close to the Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar. Wow. Not bad, it's a little bit French sounding, I think. Which is like Our Lady of Pillar translated. Amy and I both were like, whoa. Whoa, wow. it's super impressive. Very grand, very impressive. And the story goes that on January 2nd of 40 AD, the Virgin Mary appeared here to St. James the Apostle on top of a pillar. And apparently she left that pillar behind and they created a church around that pillar to sort of monument the occasion and subsequent churches have been built, etc., etc., creating this entire basilica, which is grand and beautiful. And worth a visit. <laughs> You've got so many good facts for them, babe. Yeah, I was just gonna check out on this one. This is all you, baby. <sighs> well, I'm sure we could stick around and explore all day. There is a lot more history, a lot more museums, a lot more amazing buildings, but <laughs> we are actually heading to the mountains. The world famous Pyrenees Mountains. <laughs> Vamos, Ooh, baby. Let's get that aircon on. And we've made it to the side of the road, but camp side of the, the road evening. will be camp for the evening. Pretty stunning spot. Another shout out to Park for Night. That's who we've been using for all of our camp spots here in Europe. And hasn't led us astray yet. We've got back in the kitchen this evening, which... Hi, uh, back. <laughs> which scares and delights everybody on board. So we're gonna... It scares the cleanup crew, that's for sure. <laughs> gonna put the camera down and we will see you in the morning for a day full of adventure. Sleep well. Good morning everyone. Eamon and I had such a restful sleep out here that we actually slept in a little. Our master plan was to get up and at the hike before the crabs come but now we're just gonna have to uh, make make some new friends today. So we're gonna giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Get up and giddy up. You're having milk with your coffee, are you? Mm-hmm, treating myself Fancy. today. And we found Oatly, which is my favorite unsweetened oat milk. Now that we're a little late to the party, we've decided no stress, let's just relax, have a nice chill morning. So we're gonna start with a little breakfast. I feel like we never show you exactly what's going into these classic breakfasts that we always have. But we make this muesli, it's almonds in here, goji berries, oats, raisins, seeds. And I mix that with the coconut milk. And then we have a really nice little seed section. So we try and get this in every single day. Uh, hemp seeds, flax seeds, and chia seeds. We're en route to the trailhead. It's about a 15, 20 minute drive from where we are. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, so we're, you know, a couple hours behind schedule, but we read that it gets busy around 11 at the main part, which takes two and a half hours, so maybe everyone will be gone by the time we get there. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll see you guys at the trailhead. You guys gonna take us smoothly down these bumpy roads, babe? So it appears that nobody's left yet. It's quite the busy parking lot, but that's okay, guys. You ready to go? 
Yes, ma'am. I just gotta throw on my booties. All right, throw them on. Let's you go. Any, oh, I got socks in here. Perfect, though. Should I give them a little smell test? <laughs> I don't know if you want to. No. Huh. Not too bad. <laughs> Probably like a four out of ten. Hilarious when not too bad goes from like, oh, put those in the laundry to, I could get another day's wear out of these. And also, I feel like the scale just keeps sliding. <laughs> <laughs> like ten is just keeps getting further. And further. Oh gosh. Thank you, Dukes. Suit up, babe. We don't really have a game plan, but we think this is where the trail starts. More important than a game plan is a food plan. I prepped up some peanut butter sandwiches last night, as well as I prepped up some watermelon, which we put in the fridge. So when we come back from this five hour hike, wow, look at this. Look at these mountains. <laughs> also, one more thing about the van. We've been parking it intentionally in the sun because I feel like ever since we put on the roof rack, we're shading the solar panel a little bit and we're not getting prime optimal voltage. So parking in the sun makes the van a little bit hotter, but in the long term, you get a little more electricity. That's a win. Okay, I think we're going this way. Cola de caballo. Is that the one? See. How come it doesn't I have a time eat. on it? Doesn't say no one wheels. Buddy, I say no. <laughs> <laughs> Usted esta aquí? You are here? Props to my Spanish. Buddy, there's people on the vlog that are saying <laughs> that our Spanish is so good that they actually don't understand us. <laughs> Usted so esta aquí means you are We need to translate <laughs> into English now. We turn into a total Espanol vlog. <laughs> Bonjour. 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 Look at you go. We're trilingual at this point. <laughs> I think we already told you, but the Pyrenees actually border Spain and France. So we're running into people and saying hola, and then they say bonjour back. And so I'm just trying to like hear my languages and greet appropriately. What language do you like think in these days? Um, to be honest, no, nah, no, nah, English. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been hiking for about an hour and a half. We haven't really shown you, but the hike was fairly busy. Yeah. Chalked with people. Now, we did see a little turn off towards another hike, and we thought we'd explore. I didn't even know if it was another hike, to be honest. It just looked like, oh, there's some rubble, and maybe we can make our way down towards the waterfall. And if you're doing the hike, you'll see a blue railing, and that's where you turn off. And... I think it's paid off. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> si. I've already had one off camera. Do I get to have another one? Yeah, there's four. I know, but should I save it for the next place? <laughs> avoid carrying a lot of water which gets very heavy on a long hike we actually have this cool pump so you can actually pump like urine through this and drink it and I'm sure this water is clean enough you don't need it but nice little extra precaution doesn't get fresher than this <laughs> pump it oh I'm going the wrong way dude ah. <laughs> this goes in there and then it's been a like while that. huh yeah. look at that Okay, and on to our regularly scheduled hike. We've got Llano Agua, Esto Llano. Babe, they don't understand. You can't <laughs> keep doing that. Llano means full. This has turned into like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs>
This might be a pretty big statement, but I think this hike might be the best hike I've ever done in my life. Honestly, we've had the privilege of hiking through the Rocky Mountains in Canada, the Himalayan Mountains in Nepal, and whether it was just that we had no expectation for today, or no. Spain is delivering. It is delivering Amazing. hard. And I think it has a lot to do with just the change up of scenery. It can be really tight trees that trickle along the river, and then it really opens up, and you've got this entire kind of border of Yosemite vibes just kicking it all the way around the, the hike. So it's awesome. Johnny. We've made it to our final destination. Cola de Cabello. Cabello. I'm getting in the water. <gasps> Definitely going full plunge on that. Look at that water. Oh my gosh. I gotta find the tanning spot after though. I've chickened out and opted for the foot only plunge. But we've got someone who's taking the risk. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You want me to wash the apple? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How do you feel after your swim? As the French say, oh, crabble. <laughs> Sure, I knew it was a full day experience. You know what? what? Spain is the first country yeah. that doesn't underestimate their overestimate. overestimate their times. When it says two hours, it's two hours. Yeah, so that weighs about a six or s what time do you think it is? You guess six forty-five and I guess seven ten. Yeah. Six thirty. Six thirty. So we were out since 11.30, so only a seven hour day. Well, it felt longer, didn't it? It felt way longer. <sighs> and props to uh, past Eamon for cutting up the sandia. Muchas gracias, I need señor. to get my shoes off so badly. My shoes are off. That is painful. But yeah, dude. Did you guys love that hike as much as we did? Wow. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Should we just go sleep where we were last night? Easy peasy? That sounds like a great call. We'll see you there. I think you think those little like are cool, but there's a lot of people who don't like noises like that. <laughs> Me included. Oh, Eamon. I can't believe how lucky we got with the weather. I had seen that there was forecast for rain the second we got in the van. Torrential. <laughs> Torrential downpour. I can't believe it. We've come to the same spot this evening because we had a good sleep last night. Tacos, baby. I'm pretty impressed with how long this mic battery lasts. Mm. I feel like I never charge it. I know, you said you were charging it the other day. I'm like, wait, what? I didn't even know we had to charge it. Mic off, on? mic on. Does that sound better? It's gonna look like you cook, babe. <laughs> so everyone knows we're also at Cocina de Becca again this evening. Yeah. I've whipped up my delicious. World famous. Dare I say world famous well, taco I think meat. It is world famous. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're getting a bit of a reputation. It's super simple, just diced onions, really small with a bunch of spices like cumin, cayenne, garlic. And then I add toasted walnuts chopped up and lentils and you like mash it together. It doesn't look that amazing, but it's delicious. And then we make like enough for a family of 12 <laughs> because you know, we can eat it tomorrow. I'm the next starving. Day. Sorry. I can't even tell you guys. Bye. Becca's been talking about this taco legit 
since we started the hike. Yeah. <laughs> before we started the hike. <laughs> okay, well, cheers, baby. Cheers, I love baby. you. I love you. Thank you for spending a day in nature with Am me. Am I gonna be okay to eat beside you or I should really I really enjoyed it? I'm just kidding. No, you know what it needs? Ah, uh, shove some of those down its pipe. That's a great call. Shove a crispy one. That is a brilliant call. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, well, goodbye, guys. My mouth is now unfull. <laughs> And we will see you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Make sure you hit the Why do they up. subscribe, Beck? You subscribe so you get a notification when we post. It also helps us out. Yeah, it does, time. guys. It helps so, us grow. Um, helps us keep making what's content. The, what's the week. thing I'm trying to get going? See you Sunday. That's it. See you Sunday. Just in case you guys were fooled and were thinking that I actually cooked, I've got some proof to show that it didn't. <laughs> nice wide angle lens. We'll let them just, we'll just hold it on here. It's not that bad. It's not that good. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm not good at keeping it in the pan, am I? Good night. Good night. <laughs>